Hey everyone, welcome back. In this episode, we're going to take a look at setting up our .NET Core environment with Vue and Webpack and Hope Module Replacement, all the goodies for your development experience, right? A lot of the stuff that I'll be covering will be related to the .NET Core part of it, the stuff that I already explained in my other tutorial in Vue regarding NPM and Webpack. I'm not going to be good diving in too much into that. I'm just going to be writing that part out. So if you're, if you're confused about something, go watch those tutorials. I'll leave the link in the description. So let's go ahead and start with initializing our uh, npm package, right? So do, 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 do. skip through all of this stuff. Uh, there we ha have our package. So, so the first thing that I want to do is allow my .NET Core application to use Webpack. And for this, I will need to install a development dependency. Everything is going to be a development dependency, by the way, because we're on the server side. And it's going to be ASP.NET Webpack. I'm going to copy the Webpack part because I'm going to be writing that quite a lot. Let's go ahead and install that. And now because we have this package, what will happen is this enables us to use the um, uh, Webpack uh, dev middleware. Okay. So all you need to know is this in the background, this essentially executes uh, Webpack and it takes care of all the nitty gritty stuff. Okay, so we'll leave startup open, but for now we will actually need to install Webpack. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'll press up and I'll re replace this with Webpack. So Webpack is Webpack, it's our bundler. Next we want Webpack dot, uh, not dot but slash cl, not slash hyphen cli. So this is what allows us to execute Webpack commands, right? So it's quite important. Next thing is we want Webpack uh, dev middleware. So this allows us to have files in like a virtual directory. And this is not going to be really needed for the actual bundling. But what this will be needed for is for hot middleware. And what hot middleware will enable us to do is do hot module replacement, right? So hot module uh, replacement is going to be uh, depending on this dev middleware, not so much our actual bundling process. All right, so after it has uh, finished downloading half the internet, let's go into our package.json quick and let's uh, quickly inspect it. So we have our webpack, CLI, dev middleware, and hot middleware. And the next thing I want to do is I want to go to this webpack middleware and tell it use hot module replacement. So I'm going to go into here and I'm going to see these options, this class for options. I would never be able to type all of that out. Uh, well, I probably could, but I'm lazy. So I'm going to grab that and I'm going to close this. I'm going to say a new this class and I'm going to import it. And in here, I will be able to say hop module replacement is true. Okay. And that's about it. Uh, this enables automatic webpack execution and also enables hop module replacement for development environment. Okay. So it's pretty much all you can ask for. Now let's go ahead and close this and proceed to installing Vue. Now for Vue, we're going to need a couple of things. Let me remove all of this stuff. First, we will need the hero himself, Vue. So this is the compiler, the runtime compiler, everything. Next thing we'll need is a Vue loader, which is a Webpack loader. So this is what will allow us to load the .Vue files. Okay, And the Vue loader depends on a couple of things. It will depend on loading styles, loading the template, and loading the JavaScript. All right, so JavaScript is supported by default. We want to be able to load the styles, right? So I'm going to go ahead and say uh, loader. So view style loader and view style loader actually will require CSS loader as well by default. OK, so we are covering JavaScript and CSS. And now we need to cover the template, so view uh, template um, compiler checking that I haven't spelled anything correctly looks good okay so let's quickly check our package.json so you can uh, make sure your versions are correct if they're not uh, so CSS loader view view loader view style loader and view template compiler nice uh, I'm happy with that let's go ahead and use these packages right this is uh, this is why we're this is why we're here. You know, we can make some view, uh, make a view folder, right? And we'll call this uh, view app. Let's call this client. Let's say view app. 
Okay. So in this view up, I want uh, two files for now. The first file I want is uh, main.js, and this main.js is gonna be uh, your um, main function. It's gonna load everything, right? So we want view, and we want to grab view from here. And here we're gonna create our app, which will be a new view app. And here we want to specify some options. So we want the render function. And in this render function, we want um, our app, right? So the first thing that's going to go into there is our application uh, or the first template file, really the, the root component, let's call it that. And I will mount it to a tag of app by the app, right? So the next thing that I want to create is the actual app.view, so the root component, right? Uh, and uh, let's do scaffold, and that's pretty much it. I'm going to say h1, and I'm going to say hello world in here, okay? Uh, so that looks good. Let's go ahead and import it into here. So app uh, from uh, root app.view, hold on, and let's put it here. Okay, so that takes care of that. That is our minimal uh, view application. Let's close that. Let's go into the root folder, so view blog. And here is where I will create my dreaded scary guy config, webpack config.js. I think they call it webpack. They should have called it zip, or Z webpack. So it just drops to the bottom of the, you know, of, the, of your file system so you don't have to see the game. But anyway, let's proceed. So the first thing that we want to do is essentially load our uh, main JS, right? And uh, uh, so let's go ahead and do our Webpack stuff. So modules exports. Uh, this will be an object uh, mode uh, mode. Uh, I'll just set it to development for now, and probably forever because I'll forget about it. But this is essentially so I don't get that error of uh, we don't know what mode to run so i'm doing it in production anyway so the first thing is i want is actually entry and for my entry i want to specify a main entry so and this main entry is going to be pointing to our view app so in our local uh, directory dot slash view app slash uh, main dot js so we're grabbing our file and then we want to spit it out somewhere, right? So we want to spit it out somewhere in the directory. And that directory, preferably, I want it to be www root. So first I want it is a path, right? And I am going to specify that we will actually need a, a path resolver to make sure that it knows that we're working in this directory on disk. So let's create a path and we'll say that it's a require path. So think of this as a path resolver, right? So let's say path join and uh, the global their name. So this is the root. And then we specify the locale. So www root and disk folder. So this is where I wanted to spit out, spit out the file. And then I want to specify the file name. And which will be bundle.js, pretty much bog standard webpack, webpack name for an output file, right? So let's go ahead and actually also set a path. And this has something to do with webpack development, and sorry, not the path, but rather public uh, path. And I'll just say this. So this is just so our development environment is happy. Next thing we want is to take care of our view file. So we'll need to specify a module and some rules okay so in these rules i will need to basically provide some object uh, that uh, correspond to every file so i will test for a um, view file ending and if it's a view file i will say not view but rather loader uh, use view loader well, cool, and that should be it. Another thing for a view loader, we will need a view plugin. So uh, require 
path, not path, rather view, nope, view loader. And uh, let me get rid of this. So view plugin. So view loader lib uh, plugin. And this should be view loader plugin. Okay, now we can grab the plugin and add it to an array of plugins. And this is actually meant to be a object rather than call it a function. All right, so this looks okay to me. I am going to go ahead and just uh, assume that it's going to work. And uh, we'll see, we'll fix any errors if they pop up. Now let's go into our controllers. And what I wanna do is create a home controller.cs. And I will copy again everything from my block controller and paste it into here. I will delete everything from here and from here as well. And all of these dependencies as well. All I want to do is just basically be able to display my application, right? So uh, I need I need a page for that. So I'll just return view here and rename this to home controller. So I have my home controller, uh, which is meant to be displaying an index page, and that's where I actually want to serve my page from. So let's go into views, let's create a folder called home, and in the home folder, I'm gonna create an index.cs HTML. And here I'm gonna create a div, and I'm gonna call it, not call it, but rather give it an ID of app. So in my main JS, this is where I mount it to. So right below that, I want a script tag, and I am spitting out my build in www root dist folder. So let's go ahead and say src local dist slash and what did I call it? Bundle.js. So that's what it's going to be called. We don't have it yet. So let's collapse all of this and looks okay to me. Let's open up the terminal. So let's do .NET run. See if we get any errors. And whoop, I actually do. So, do, 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 do. Uh, where's the magic words? Unknown file name, okay. Oh, I have been getting a couple of errors. This is actually meant to be all small uh, cases. And uh, I can't see anything else. Let's clear this and let's run this again. Okay, another one. Okay, so it has an unknown property plugin. This is meant to be plugins. It's an array, right? So duh. I I will need to learn how to spell. Let's run this again. And okay, that looks promising. Now let's go ahead and uh, grab our application here. Nothing's loading. So runtime build. So it is either Webpack's Loading correctly. Am I using the wrong library? No, I'm not. And oh my god, <laughs> render. Okay. So close that. Give the refresh uh, now. Okay, hello world. There we go. So after co correcting all of our spelling mistakes, it is up and running. Let's go ahead and uh, see the hot reload magic, right? So let me actually. Put this to the side, like so. And let me go into my app view and let me say, hello, Jimmy, save it. And I can see the changes on my right straight away. So this will essentially be it for the setup. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And as always, see you in my other episodes.